Morning guys in the machine room here at Shock Treatment again. Interesting little one this morning. We've had a uh, shock absorber brought into us which is actually leaking from just above the compression adjuster here. Now it has a slight crack in there and basically what we're going to have to do is actually weld that seam up. Now because the edge of the material is so thin if we try and weld that we'll actually just blow a hole in it. So we've taken the compression adjuster out and what we're doing is we're actually machining up a, a plug here out of hardenable steel and once we've got that to final size what we'll actually do is we will then make a thread chaser out of it. We'll put it on the mill, we'll cut grooves into it so it becomes something that can cut threads. And so in order to get this repair done without distorting or damaging the, the body any further what we'll actually do is put that plug into the uh, compression adjuster recess and then we'll be able to weld it and if it does distort the material, if we get any, uh, any um, uh, material slumping down into the inside, what will happen is this being a thread chaser and a thread cutter, we'll actually be able to wind it out and be able to restore the thread. So it's one of those little problems that we solve here and uh, as I've said before, nothing beats us. And this is a little bit of mucking around, but we'll get this customer underway and uh, we'll have his shock back as good as new. And Grant uh, is a specialty welder. We have a, a full blacksmith and forge, uh, blacksmith facilities, forge facility. And he has a beautiful Kempe TIG welder, which uh, he'll make this job really, really nice. We'll finish it up. Might even put a little bit of uh, paint on there so it doesn't look so, uh, so marred up, but uh, this thing will be as good as new. Okay, so here is the piece that we made. It's basically a thread cutting tool. Now it's just a, uh, a piece of hardenable steel that we uh, put it in, cut the thread on it, and we put these little grooves in it. So that creates a cutting edge, and that cutting edge will allow us to clean the threads up. So the process was that we had that damage on the shock body which needed to be welded. Should we have just welded it, what would have happened is it all would have distorted. Now. Um, Basically, by installing this, we allow the, the unit to hold its shape, but we still could have damaged the threads with the process. So, basically, by installing this, we've already got our thread cutting tool in there. We've welded it. You can see where we've welded. So, we've welded it, and then after the repair was done, we've then backed it out, and that has then recut the threads and reformed the item. So, uh, this becomes a one off item, and we can throw this away now, or perhaps we'll put it in the drawer and we'll keep it for later. But the important thing here is we saved this guy from buying a new shock body, but not just that, we saved him time. He's come down from Newcastle, so it's significant travel to get down here. He was here for the day, and so when we've run into this problem, we've come up with a solution. And so this guy must arrive for the weekend, and yes, we could have ordered a new shock body, but that's going to take time. This guy's going to have to go home, come back, get his job done again, and so on and so on. So saved the customer a lot of grief, saved him time, saved him money, saved him a whole lot of hassle. So just what we do here and uh, we'll continue doing it. 